Albeth in the hallways. Homecoming edition. Do you believe that England should be considered a city? Depends on the day, maybe. Okay, I respect that. What do you think is the true meaning of homecoming? Um, it's a party. So, would you rather your homecoming date wore Lightning McQueen Crocs or a Creeper hoodie? Oh, definitely Lightning McQueen, Lightning McQueen Crocs. That's a good answer. Do you believe that England should be considered a city? No, it's not a city. But a city is a, a place with over 25,000 people. So, England has over 25,000 people. That's a tradition. Eng no! It's a country. It's so dumb. But it has over 25,000 people, so it must be a city, right? It's no. I guess we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one. What do you believe is the true meaning of homecoming? Um, hanging out with your friends and having a good time together. And dancing. All right. Yeah, dancing, dancing, too. dancing, dancing. That's epic. And so, our theme for homecoming is cities around the world. So I was wondering, um, what's your favorite city in Uzbekistan? Um, Lofton. Okay, good answer. Do you believe that England should be considered a city? No, definitely not. Okay. What is your favorite city in Thailand? I don't know any cities in Thailand. You know, I, I can agree with that answer. What do you think is the true meaning of homecoming? Um, coming home after being away. Simply stunning. Um, would you rather your homecoming date wear Lightning McQueen Crocs or a Creeper hoodie? Oh, a Creeper hoodie all day. <laughs> do you believe that England should be classified as a city? England is my city. What is your favorite city in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe city. So this year's homecoming theme is cities around the world. So do you believe that England should be considered a city? England is technically not a city and as a member of student council Yeah, I don't know what that I don't know what that means.